G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jedi. Now today's episode, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, what we're going to be doing, and I'm probably going to time lapse some of it, depending on how long it takes, and I might even do some voice. Uh, I might even do some voice on it. So what I want to do is we, well, I haven't ripped up everything, anything. Okay, I haven't ripped up any of the starter build, any of the original build, uh, any of the old science build, because technically the science we're doing is a yellow pack research, so these labs are actually still working. So I've left them running, okay? Um, I do need to pack up all that. I'll probably do it after this episode. Also need to run the fluids from these storage tanks to these storage tanks, you know, move fluids across, that sort of stuff. There's plenty to do, along with I need to spend a bit of time with an upgrade planner, upgrading a lot of our existing builds, because... I don't think we have enough infrastructure to do what we're doing. Anyway, all that out of the way. What we are doing this episode is I want to get a whole bunch of foundations. I want to fill in this area. I also want to build like a workshop, okay? We have our original workshop over here. Uh, our very, very early tech one workshop. Now, we have already automated uh, belts and sorters and assemblers, but everything else is not touched. And I really want to set up everything else. On top of that, I really, really want to get, hopefully by the end of the episode, uh, the planetary logistics stations up and running, which means we need to automate the particle containers. I think that's the only thing I need to go and automate. Um, there might be a few other odds and ends along the way to get all this up and running. But yeah, the plan is to have enough automation that this can be completely recycled. I don't need any of this anymore. Um, also have uh, everything being able to be able to be dumped into the interstellar logistics stations. That's the other big requirement for this episode, or at least well on our way to that being able to be done. So with that out of the way, um, yeah, I'm probably going to do a whole bunch of this time lapse. I might even do it as a voiceover so I can sort of explain my thinking as we're going along. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the plan because... Oh, and, and one of the things I am going to do is I'm going to build it right here. Because if we bring up build mode with some belts, uh, we can see that the closer you get to the North Pole, the worse it is to build. Um, so along here we have a whole bunch of fault lines. So we have a meridian coming up from uh, the equator all the way up. But we can see we have a fault line here. You can tell by the dead straight belt. And then there's another fault line here. Where, oh, that's not nearly as bad. Let's go, yeah, there's another fault line there. And then, oh, look, we're going to encounter another fault line here. And then there's another fault line, oh, right here. So, building up is notoriously bad. And that's sort of why I want to put the workshop um, in this area. Because it's, apart from that, pretty, pretty useless space. Um, I could probably fit it down here. Maybe. Maybe having, I don't really know how big this is going to be, and unfortunately this is still an early version. I do have a, a, I am in the process of working on a later game version, a much more easy to understand and build version, but um, it's taking some time, because what we're doing is, is not exactly easy, at least not with belts. If you do it with um, logistical stations, dead easy, dead easy to do, get it done in a, a matter, matter of minutes. But doing it with belts is a bit of a nightmare. But I want to try and do it with belts, okay? I really want to try and do it with belts, so that's the plan. Anyway, with all that said, uh, let's run the intro, and then we'll get into it. The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. <laughs> Uh, we're going to start off with some simple assembly machines and because we're hand building everything It really doesn't matter how much of a mess things look like um, So with that out of the way first thing I want to start making is I want to start making uh, Tesla towers, okay? Um, because they require the magnetic coils and I'm hoping when all is said and done we can Basically get rid of magnetic coils. Uh, this is gonna make it even worse. Wow, I did not think this through. Okay. All right, first things first. I'm gonna run a belt. Uh, actually, we're gonna put in a whole bunch of guide belts just to make my life easier. Uh, 
So I've already got this one level high. We're going to double click, double click, double click, double click, double click, so on and so forth. These are what I refer to as a guide belt, okay? Now, they're handy in the fact that I can link into them. And currently, they have no direction. So they don't go forward, they don't go backward, they don't go left, they don't go right. They just, they exist as a single belt piece. But it means if I want to bring that up, I can definitely bring that up, that line up to, sure, there. Uh, this line can also come up. And as you can see, we reach a fault line and bad things happen. So I need to come to, well, I need to stop at max build range. And then, nope, we can keep going. Cool. All right, you can continue all the way up because you were running on a meridian, so you won't actually have any issues. The next build belt is that one. And again, we need to come to here. And then I need to force you to go to the left. Yeah. And then run you up to there. Where again, I need to force you to go left. Hey, there's the last research. So that's the last. Where's that last? Uh, this is the last. This is the last red, uh, blue, red, yellow research. From here on, everything is uh, purple research as well. Okay, so this will give us three materials. Our three materials are going to be iron, coils, and probably gears, I think. I don't know, I'm sort of making this up as I go. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, things are already off to a dead straight start. Okay, so we want to have uh, iron, gears, and coils. Uh, we're going to throw in, rotate you around to the right way, uh, we'll put you there, and nope, you're colliding with something, so you'll have to go there, and then you'll have to go there. Alright, you, no, 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 that's the wrong way, they're all, they're all facing the wrong way. Alright, try again, Jay. Uh that way. In and out. Uh, yep. Yep. In, out, in, out. Uh, mark three belts. That one. Oh, it doesn't even li uh, line up with that. Cool. Uh, that one doesn't line up with that either. Alrighty. We're off to a good start. Okay, so we're going to have you run in there and then across one. We're going to have you run to basically there. Endpoint must be horizontal. Oh, you're down a tile already. Okay. So we'll have you go to there, to there. We'll have you go into there. And then we'll have you go into lack of item. Really? I ran out one belt short. Okay. Uh, it's alright. Belts are close. Providing we actually have some made. Yes. Alright. So it's our first three items. Okay. And then we're going to use to make power poles first. And then we're going to have to see what else requires these three materials. Because that's really what I'm aiming for. Getting this bit of belt built, and then we can get our three materials down here and start our production line. Uh, power pole in there. Let's try that again. Let's get our assembler as close. That is as close as possible. Cool. Uh, you're going to do Tesla towers. All right. So Tesla towers it will require uh, that. Uh, really, really. Well, that's an unfortunate start already. Okay. Uh, can I move you somewhere where you're a bit... Hey. Okay, there is where you need to go. And like I said, this is this is why I'm building up here. Because this is, this is such a hard terrain to build in that generally people avoid it. And I'm going to try and make the best of the space I have on uh, this particular... Nope. Um, this particular planet. And if that means that sometimes things are a little bit awkward to build, that's perfectly fine. We're going to build them anyway. Okay, 
So that's our first build, which we will let you have an output just so we can see that you're actually running. Uh, next thing we're going to want to build is uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll rotate you around like that. Cool. And then change your recipe to. Um. Okay, so you also need magnetic coils. You also need uh, electronic circuits. Oh, circuit boards, sorry. Uh, have you go up a level, run that to there. So that means technically we'd have to get circuit boards into this back line. So we're going to work our way backward. Uh, sure, you'll get that far. That's about as far as I need you to get anyway. Uh... And then I need this to be circuit boards. Now the problem is, as we build along, the assembly machines might need to kink out further. So for right now, until we get a proper setup, where are circuit boards? That there is circuit boards. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really bad. I'm gonna put in a temporary belt. So this belt will get removed and we'll use a sorter to go from there to there, which is, Perfectly legitimate. I know somebody's screaming at their screen right now. Uh, but I just need to have materials on this belt to know that it's going to work rather than constantly... Like, as you see, this is too wide. This is a little bit too wide. That's only two tiles wide. So we can already see, like, that's all pointless. That's going to have to zigzag out at, at least a tile. And then when it gets down here, it's going to have to zigzag out again another tile. You can see where this is going. It's going to it's going to slowly become more and more cramped as we work our way down. All right. And uh, you need a sorter at the front for gears. Um, is that belt done? Not even close. We ran away and half the belt didn't get built. Okay. Alright, so that should give us minus. Alright, the next wonderful creation I would like is I don't know. Uh, let's have smelters. Yes, you require all the same things except no gears for you. And you also require brick. So we'll put that there. We'll bring in a brick line which will have to go here. Which again means I need to bring a belt down probably there. Which, like I said, for right now, we'll just run a belt. And we'll work out the fine tuning later. It looks like I could get a brick split line off here anyway. So we will put our split uh, there for brick. All right, ground level, in, out, uh, belt machine, belt machine, belt machine, yoink, uh, green belts, have a bunch of green belts, okay, uh, brick line, uh, nope, we want here, oh, sort of, uh, whilst we're here. It's not nearly as much belt as it hurt. Alright, so again, you're going to have to be raised up one tile. No matter what, this is sort of where this one's going to end up for right now. Just because I, I literally have... Yeah, I can't I can't sandwich a belt through any of these. The sorters are just too close to one another over and over and over. Uh, so no matter what, the brick's going to have to come in here. And then if it has to move left to then come up... So be it. Uh, can we get this stuff built? Come on, robots. Come on. Uh, there we go. Another research. Oh, there's a whole strip back here I missed. See, this is the thing with building a bus. Like, I'm, I'm a number of techs in. I have a bunch of research. In fact, we're about to do uh, run faster, more, ro more, more robots, please. Uh, faster engines. Uh, more fuel. 
nope, 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 sure, no, actually that was green science wasn't it, yeah it was, okay, um, sure, alright, yeah, we're, 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 we're fairly high in the tech tree, okay? We have a bunch of research done, and even then, building buses and belts like this take ages, just because the bots don't get nearly enough done quick enough. Um, so yeah, something to really, really keep in mind. If you decide to build a bus, I would not recommend it. I would sort of give it a pass for your first planet, which is the excuse I'm using. Um, I'm also using the excuse if it makes it easier for you guys to follow along when I'm jumping from random topic to random topic. Okay, so we want a thermal power station as well because it seems to use pretty much the same items and then because of placement... Uh, okay, can I just get a plane assembly machine? Okay, you will not fit. You'll fit all the way down there. Okay, so you need to go away and you need to go away. And then... Thermal power station. Okay, so you need iron. Can you reach the iron belt? No. Uh, okay, that's the closest you can get. You can get iron then. Uh, thermal power station, which then requires gears. And then it's going to require uh, coils and then brick. So you can actually go into there without a hassle. You can also go into there without a hassle. So that was a false alarm. I didn't have to remove things. Uh, but your output belt can be on the left-hand side now because that's currently wasted space. We can throw a power pole in there. We can give you your output sorter. All right, and you're now up and running. Now, what else does need basically the same material? So we've done... Uh, you, 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 and you, uh, we'll do a wind turbine. Uh, in theory I can get an output belt there. And then pop one of those there. And we can change you just straight across to a wind turbine and you should magically work. You should have all the inputs hooked up. Uh... You require much the same materials, but is there anything else that requires coils? Let's let's just start with coils. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so you require technically you don't require coils. You require engines, but I could make engines right here for you. You the only thing that requires engines. Everything else requires way more complex stuff. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is remove that that's there for no reason. Uh, put in a assembler. An assembler. We have you make engines. And then that means you can make a water pump. Which engines require coils, gears, and iron. Which is luckily the three things we have on this side of the belt. And you require uh, iron plus both the iron, both the items on this side of the belt, and you're going to require the engines to come across, and you require an output belt. And power pole. Funnily enough, we're all out of power poles. Good thing I have actually just take. Oh, there's only ten in the machine. All right, done. So that's that done. Uh, I can put in a splitter. It doesn't require half the materials we've got here. But it won't really hurt. Uh, so you just need gears. Uh, and not brick. Same story, output and sort, sorter. Now, can I... So 
squeeze that health over. Which now means if I remove that one, I can remove that. Can I squeeze that belt over? Cool. Um, Alright, you, you, and you are all a little bit... No, actually, you're... You just need glass. Oh, and steel. Okay, now steel we have on the bus, or I can smelt it right here. There's no real advantage one way or the other. Alright, so one of the numerous things that we need to speed up construction of, or at least produce outright, is actually the particle containers. So, just past Purple Science seems like a very, very good place to drop these in. Now, I have been uh, working on our workshop, and we'll come back to that shortly, because... Frankly, it, it, it looks like a dog's breakfast. Okay, it's 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 not very neat. Uh, and until, to be honest with you, working we're working on some internal tools uh, to make planning out such a thing easier. Because I have tried repeatedly to plan something that was clean and easy to build, and I've had I've had some luck. And then it comes to, I need to add one more item. And I look at it and it's like, okay, it's going to cost me 45 minutes to rip up everything to move it left three tiles to add the new item. And my motivation just gives up on me. So we're going to look for a more clean version in the future. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to hook up these particle containers after we go find some more belts, 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 belts. Uh, all of it, please. Alright, particle containers which require uh, bleep, graphene, uh, plus they require uh, the green motors. Uh, actually, can we get you to slide to left one tile, please? Thank you. You'll just make my life easier. Cool. Uh, the green motors and what was the other item? Ah, copper. Okay. So we're going to try and line these guys up to get this production line started. And then I need to bring it all back in and tie it to the bus. At the same time, tie it up to where the workshop's currently up to, which means we're going to go visit the workshop, which means I need to, unfortunately, show you the uh, horrible abomination that I've met, made. Now, it works, at least where we're up to works. Um, there's a few other items I want to add, and one of them requires accumulators, which we're probably also going to have to get done in this episode. Okay, if I bring you into there, and then into there, and then tie that belt into there, and then, oh, we can see there's no green motors. Okay, so we also need to go bump up that production. Cool. Uh, at least, because we're on a bus system, it should be easy enough to go through and chase bottlenecks and fix them. Uh, we just need to get this belt done. Okay, and I haven't even looked at how many we're going to make, but I know we're going to need a few of them. Uh, for both this production and future production. So you know what? We're just going to extend them all the way out till I hit a wind turbine. Because why not? And actually we'll put in the return belt as well. And then we'll come to here. We'll press the alt button and we shall drag. Oh, it won't quite fit. It won't quite fit. It's close. Alright, we shall stop right there. That should be enough to keep us busy for a while. Okay, and with that, I want to have a power pole in there, and then a power pole in there, and then a power pole in there, and a power pole in there. Okay. So that should get them cranking along. And it also looks like the copper line suddenly dried up. All right, uh, we'll take that back up a level. And what is the bottom line of the bus? The bottom line of the bus is now that line. Uh, and that line. Glass and brick. 
which I might not need further along the bus, but and two you your just craft one. Well, ten, fine. I just needed one, but yeah. Until you actually know what you do and don't need throughout the whole game, uh, unfortunately, and this is again one of the areas where a bus suffers, you need to drag along everything. Okay, so that needs to come that way. It also needs to come all the way up uh, to here. And then all the way back to one of those belts. Uh that belt. Yes. Uh, okay, let's put it here to there to there. Alright, I'm going to put in a cut so we can just get this done. Okay, so we've got these up and running, which should get our tower... Our planetary logistics station's up and running. We should get our interstellar... No, where is the titanium? Titanium, titanium, titanium. Uh, it has to be one of these belts. Oh, no, it's literally just missing a sorter. Hey, okay. We should get our interstellar logistics station up and running. We should get a bunch of other things up and running. But yes, this is this is the dog's breakfast I made. Um, you guys saw some of this, and you saw this is like this is reasonably neat. So starting at the end, we have uh, power poles, miners, smelters, uh, thermal generators. We then have wind turbines. We then have engines to make a pump. Uh, we have sorters, we have uh, chem plants, oil extractor, oil extractor, yes. And then refineries uh, and steel to make refineries, along with steel to make large chests, small chests, uh, tanks, and then uh, labs. And then we come into this mess. Um, from here on, it got a little bit more complicated because items require more advanced recipes and not everything requires just one or two or three i well you don't have a bunch of i a bunch of different recipes requiring three of the same item you have like the fraction in it which requires steel steel's okay right we, we end up bringing in a steel line uh because there's a couple of items that need steel but it needs brick and it needs glass and it needs cpus but it's the only thing that needs glass and Brick, I think. Yeah, it's the only thing that needs brick. Um, from there on, everything's too high tech, high tech to need brick. Um, over here, we have, like, thrusters. Thrusters need steel and copper. This is one of the few things that actually needs copper. Um, and, of course, I made it its own steel line just because. And then over here, we have our logistics drones, which require processors, which are over here, like a much more advanced technology, and iron, which is such a basic thing. So... Yeah, we got some curvy belts. We got some curvy belts. Uh, but that's sort of okay. It's it's all working. Uh, helps if you guys actually had processors. Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, and then again, what was... Oh, this one. This is the ray receiver. Now, we haven't played with the ray receiver yet. It's super, super late. Well, it's later tech than what we're playing with currently. But it requires five items. And like steel and silicon, it's one of the few only items that requires silicon. Uh... On top of that, it requires, you know, magnetic coils, which is even more advanced tech. Plus, it requires CPUs, which are slight, uh, processors, which are a slightly older tech. Steel, which is a really ancient tech as far as everything else is concerned. Silicon, which, again, it's like one of the few items that requires silicon. Um, and on top of that, it requires the photon combiner. And it turns out I had the raw materials to make photon combiners right here. So we did. It just involves a snaky U-shaped belt. Um, so yeah, so things are up and running. Now, you are one that I really wanted to have up and running, the Orbital Collector. But I looked at it and I'm like, okay, so we've made thrusters, which are one of the right ingredients. And we have super magnetic rings on a belt, that's okay. And then we need to have the interstellar logistics stations, which are these ones. Um, so that's okay. But then we need to have accumulators. So actually, you're going to go, because I'm not going to have you there. And 
we're gonna pop this guy probably out here all by his little lonesome so he can have okay maybe not that far away maybe maybe tab there we go maybe that far away and we'll have you set up to make these guys and then we'll put a direct transfer between them to get the uh the thrusters now you're outputting a single belt that's going up and about i want you to output to and again like bendy twisty belts uh there's sort of in some respects nothing we can do about them uh, because there are certain items that need to go to certain places uh in the case of this guy he needs one of these belts something on this belt uh Worse than that's all the way over there on that belt. Okay, so you're gonna need to have a second bendy twisty belt. Uh, like I said, I'm 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 working on a tidier, neater version um, that does involve belts, not a whole bunch of planetary logistic stations. If you just use logistic stations, this becomes dead easy um, to fly stuff around. But yes, uh, so that that if. I should be able to give you a bunch of those. You should now be happy. Uh, thrusters you'll get directly. Towers you'll get directly because you're going to split your output half onto a belt for output, half onto there. And it still means I need to make accumulators, which we haven't made yet. Okay, going through our list. So I haven't made an EM rail ejector and I haven't made the energy exchanger. Energy exchanger needs processes which are here it needs purple things which are here it needs steel which is here and it needs pro no processes are there alloy okay all right so it turns out we can actually do this one right now and yeah, that, that's really what it, 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 it is a case of. It's a case of looking at looking at what needs what and trying to mentally work out where you could put things where they're going to get most of the, the things they require. Not quite everything, uh, but most is definitely a good start. And then potentially run some short belts to do whatever's missing. Okay, so then you needed pink things and then you needed titanium alloy. Which, autosave, thanks. Uh, we're going to run a short hop belt across. And plug that in there, plug that in there. And have you been output belt? Uh, your output. And then I can throw power in anywhere. And you should be able to run if pink things ever showed up. Okay. So where are we up to? We have... One of those at least. Alright. What's holding up our pink things? I'm willing to bet it's something we can probably fix in a hurry. It is green engine things. Okay. Which is held up by... The lack of magnetic rings. The lack of magnetic rings is held up by copper. And the lack of copper is held up by probably not fast enough belts. Uh, yeah. It's the Mark 1 belt. That'll do it every time. So yeah, I have a bunch of upgrades and a bunch of bottlenecks that we need to clear off, but I will definitely do those between episodes. Uh, can I get that belt to extend out to here? Do I have... No, I don't have furnaces on me. Okay. Uh, 30 smelters should end right about there. So now we have a little temporary workshop and we've still got more to do and I don't know if we're going to get it done this episode. Uh, but I should be able to go here and just eat all of those. That's 30. That's a good start. And come back 
out to here. Pick up one of those, hit tab so it's got no sorters. Uh, plug that in and that in. And then hold down the, oh, tap the, no, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, God mode, please. We'll just, even if I can't feed it at full speed, at least if it's built to full speed, at some later stage, we might be able to fix it. Oh, and power's got a problem. Yay! Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have to go look at power again. I was hoping to get to deuterium processing, but uh, they required parts that I didn't get around to building because bottlenecks. Um, yeah. Alright, does that fix our magnetic rings? Uh, that belt's now backed up. Cool. Which probably means it's passing through a tier 1 belt somewhere. Down engine problem. See? Quick and easy as that. Alright, I'm going to go through and upgrade like everything I can get my hands on. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I do hope you guys have enjoyed going through like some of the problem solving, some of the problem solving with me. Um, there's obviously still a lot more to do and a lot more to see and a lot more to tweak and much use of the brand new upgrade planner, which I, I, I do really... Nope, missed entirely. I do really, really enjoy it. It does make uh, everything a whole lot easier when it comes to expanding these builds, along with our lovely uh, advanced copy paste mod, because, oh god, what a time saver. Uh, and a wrist saver. And where are power poles? Can I just one power pole? Sure, ten. All right. Well, with that said, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. Uh, as always, if you're new here, I'd very much appreciate it if you click the subscribe button on the way out. Make sure you stay notified of the next video, which hopefully by then we'll have fixed all these problems and we can actually set up uh, a little bit more of a interplanetary logistics. Planetary logistics. More logistics. More logistics. I really want to smarten up the base. Also, we did unlock... Uh, F, 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 warp technology. So I probably want to go to a new planet. But we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.